Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Brit. So as you can see, this is not my usual kitchen. I am in the Cayman Islands. If you haven't checked out my travel vlog and I don't know if I posted anything else after that because I don't know when I'm gonna post this video. I don't know if my weekly vlog come out yet, but I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, check out my traveling vlog of me traveling to the Cayman Islands and you know, all of that. So, I'm kinda excited for like cook today because you know, I really, really love this kitchen. I love the whole setup and everything. I mean, it's kinda similar to my kitchen in Jamaica, you know, the black cupboard and everything. But I don't know, it's very easy to vlog here. Like, I just have more, I don't know. It has better lighting, everything, and I just love that. Anyway, so today we're gonna make, what do you call it, surf and turf? So it's basically like steak and um, shrimp. I mean, you can do it with lobster, but we're not doing that. Um, steak and shrimp and some mashed potato on the side. And I think I'm gonna make like a creamy, I just saw something moved in the back. Oh, that's my hand. Yo, I was so scared. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna make like a creamy spinach tapa sauce to like put over it. And yes, this is my first time making this. So I'm excited. But you know, even if it come out flop, I still like gonna post this. I mean, cooking with Brit is all about trying new things and stuff and I got some steak in the supermarket. So in Cayman, um, you can get like uh, five different pack of meat for like $20. So I got my steak, I got chicken, I got pork, and you know, I just mix and match for $20. And I never yet make steak. I'm not a big steak girl, but I was just like, you know, let's try and cook it. And I got my steak seasoning and stuff. But yeah, let's just like get into the video. <coughs> So this is me giving free promo right now, even though them don't need it because they're a big company. But this Lipton Peach um iced tea, it's so good. Like I got this in the supermarket and I've never seen this in Jamaica, but it's it is so good, like Yeah, girl is thirsty. Thirsty bad. But um yeah, we're gonna start the prep process right now. Cause when I think this is supposed to take no time for though. Do you think so? Yeah, I don't think so. Hmm. Okay, so here you can see we have our steak and it's freshly washed, and then we have our shrimp freshly washed also. So we're gonna season the steak first. Or no, I'm gonna do the shrimp first. So um, I think I'm gonna use some Old Bay seasoning. Yeah, I just got this yesterday, so I need to like pull off the seal and everything. Oops, my bad. So unprepared. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna use some Old Bay, and Old Bay is very salty, if I can remember. So you need a bag of seasoning, and as you can see, this is not a lot of shrimp. So I'm gonna add some Old Bay, and then I'm going to add some cayenne pepper. You know, just for some spice. Oh no, let me not use the big part. So or cayenne pepper for some spice. Then I'm going to add some Maggi all-purpose seasoning. Just a little. Okay, you know you already add the old bay and the old bay is salty. And then I'm going to add some garlic salt. Yeah, and you're basically just gonna give this like a good mix.
and that's it for the shrimp now for the steak for the steak i'll only be using salt and pepper and my steak seasoning so we have our salt sea salt and with my steak i'm gonna season both sides of my steak so i'm putting salt on this side then i'm gonna put some pepper on this side Then I'm gonna add some steak seasoning on this side also. This is also brand new, so I did not take off the seal. Unprepared again. Wonder what come in steak seasoning. I did not look up the ingredients on this. Not look up what read. Oh, it have salt, garlic, and spices. Black pepper and red pepper, all right. And then you know my steak seasoning. So you know how most people like them steak um fresh and you know just tastes like beef like the cow is still mooing that's not me mm -mm. i need some flavor i'm sorry why this look at something flying and then i'm just gonna like pat it in basically you know my little dainty pat <laughs> And then I'm going to repeat this process on the next side. I'm back and before we even start cooking i'm just gonna tell you like the prep and everything so i'm gonna sear the steak in a pan for about like i don't know how long but we'll see i don't know i'm new to this i don't even have the right pan i don't have a searing pan or uh what you call it a skillet i'm gonna have that i have a non-stick pan that's what i have a non-stick pan to make steak that makes sense like more stress out i am so stressed out but um yeah we're just gonna work with what we have and see what can become of this like tears in my eyes i'm stressed i'm stressed all the way out and um we're gonna have like some as i say mashed potato on the side and i also have like a Cali california blend so it have like broccoli and little carrot and what do you call it cauliflower and then i have like corn like some corn on the cob sweet corn yeah yeah hmm but yeah let's just get into the video Honestly, making that steak was very chaotic. I'm not done. Um, so I'm done sear it on the pan and everything, and I put it in the oven for about like seven minutes because that's what they said I should do. So now I'm just gonna prepare my shrimp because at least I know how to do that part. I'm not giving up faith though. Like I'm not giving up. Probably the steak come out good. Who knows? You know, as long as it tastes good and it tender, that's all I want. So if it come out like that perfect so right now i just have my corn and my vegetables you know cooking in the meantime and i'm gonna make 
my shrimp no and i'm also supposed to make mashed potatoes and then the sauce so i have enough things more for though but yeah we're gonna make the shrimp now and then uh, after the vegetables done boil i'll start my mashed potatoes because i don't have a lot of pots here so i just have to wait until one thing done and then start something else and it's annoying but i have to work with what i have so yeah <laughs> Okay, so I'm about to make my mashed potatoes and I just want to tell you guys what I use before I even speed up the process and everything. So while I'm boiling my potatoes, I actually peel like three or four peg of garlic and boil along with my potatoes so that the garlic can be infused into the potatoes if you guys get what I'm saying. And then I use some cow's milk, any milk. I use some sea salt. I use garlic salt, black pepper, and then I use my butter you can use any type of butter that you want to use and i always like turn on the heat on my stove i'm not gonna do that right now but i'm just gonna speed up the process so that you guys can see what i actually do to get my potatoes how i like it Yeah, this is basically how i make mine it tastes so good it has a nice garlicky taste and honestly this is just how i make my own because i don't like when mashed potatoes are bland a lot of times i go to restaurants and i don't order mashed potato because it just usually it fresh and i mean some people like it like that but this is the only way you will get me to eat mashed potato so yeah this is it and you can try this recipe and yeah thank me later so we're just going to do like a little steak unboxing <laughs> because I actually need like some of the sauce from the steak to put in my cream sauce that I'm going to make to top off everything. Honestly, I don't know how steak look when it's done, but um, it must done, you yeah, know. Okay, it's look, it's it look tender. All right, how do I know if this tender enough? Do I use like a fork and juke it? Well, you can see, yeah. So I'm gonna use a fork. It seemed tender to me because you know the meat is easily. Yeah, it seemed tender. I think it's done. For my sauce, I'm gonna be using the same pan that I made the shrimp in, cause you know, it already have like some flavor in it. So I just added like some garlic and onion and stuff. So I'm gonna be using heavy cream. And I also have some spinach that I'll be adding to it. Okay. So I'm just gonna open my heavy cream. Wait, before I even do that, just gonna, and I'm also gonna add like some extra butter. So I'm just gonna speed this up. So the only thing I'm going to add to this is probably some garlic salt and some black pepper because this already have like a lot of seasoning in it already so i won't be adding a lot because i don't want it to be salty
So this is my sauce and it tastes absolutely amazing. So the only thing that I added that I didn't tell you guys about is I added some extra Old Bay because you know it was kind of fresh and then I added some of the juice from the steak and perfect. It's giving <laughs> what it's supposed to give. This is the food. Let's just talk about the steak and the shrimp and the sauce. Like it's giving, right? Okay, all right. So let's get into the cutting of the steak. Not my specialty at all. But I just want to Not bad. Guys, this knife is not a good knife, so don't even. I just want to like taste it. But it seems soft. Yeah, it's looking soft. So we're going to taste it. All right, guys, so, um, yeah, it's time to, like, eat. So, it's, for today's drink, we have some strawberry lemonade. Yum, yum, yum. And, uh, yeah, this is, like, one of my favorite drinks now. It's just, like, so good. So, we're gonna have some strawberry lemonade. And... Uh, just gonna eat like we're eating good over here so the steak i'm sorry but i already tasted it it's giving it nice and tender it's not tough easy for swallow or have I'm sorry, I don't want to talk and eat. Have our shrimp. The shrimp is so good. Ten out of ten for me. Like I'm sorry, I don't even want to be biased, but it came out better than I expected as usual. Anyways, more I'm gonna eat my dinner now. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did like this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. You know, leave a comment. Tell me what else you want me to cook while I'm here, or. I don't know you know just leave a comment anything leave a like don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video